Danny bragging rights secured, but more importantly, a place in the next round of the Emirates FA Cup. Uh, a real topsy-turvy game, uh, local derby. You must be delighted to come out on top of that one. Yeah, all that matters is who are the victors, and it's Welling United. Uh, and I felt, to be honest with you, despite, you know, as you say, a topsy-turvy game, I thought we deserved to win, in all honesty. Uh, and, uh, you know, very nice for Anthony Papadopoulos to go home with the match ball. Um, but, yeah, really pleased. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's really one for the fans, isn't it? As you say, it's bragging rights. Someone was saying they haven't beat, what we haven't beaten Dartford for quite some years. So it's certainly nice uh, to win this afternoon. Obviously, they had to show a lot of character as well, going behind twice and then after getting that second equaliser to, to go and get in the third. How, how important was that character, especially away from home, you know, with the crowd against you, to, to show what they're all about? Well, I think, to be honest with you, and you've watched every single game, you've a number of trainers, I think we've had it all season. I thought what the difference was today was our new centre forward, Tristian Abrahams. You know, although he didn't score, he was very pivotal, he gave us something to, to focus on in, in the front area. And that's no disrespect to David or to Alex. They're young players, they're learning their way. So I thought he was a massive difference to our team and we've been saying it haven't we the last two or three weeks the performances have been good but it's nice today that the performance was good and ultimately the result against our neighbours bringing in someone like Tristan Abrahams as you said does he bring out the best into people like Anthony that can, can go and get himself into positions to, to go and get a hat-trick I mean you've already mentioned him but uh, it's, a, it's a really big moment for him isn't it maybe a, a bit of a difficult first season for him last season here trying to find his best position but he's, he's really had a great three weeks hasn't he yeah he's a top player isn't he you know I think we all forget that I think he's only 20, 21. I don't know what... I, I always feel he's like 25, 26, but he's got all the ability, Anthony, isn't he? And uh, perhaps, as we say, he's got all the ability. And, uh, yeah, really nice for him to uh, be the uh, hero today. But I thought we had, you know, 10 other heroes. I thought that everyone to the calls. I thought Jeff D. Tang was amazing again. You can see Lewis White, you know, he's getting better and better. His fitness is, is good. Um, you know, you, you could name everyone, couldn't you? But, it, it, as you say, perhaps to go away with the headlines. 14 heroes out there, three off the bench, obviously, as well, but a decent number of, uh, of fans behind the goal as well, playing their part. A huge amount of celebrations at the end there, which you were getting involved with again, which is great to see, and, and they play their part, didn't they? Oh, listen, uh, uh, they've been magnificent, haven't they? You know, they've backed us through, through thick and thin. I think they can see what we're trying to do, and they're just incredible, aren't they? And that, that win is for them, you know, it's for everyone at the club, but those fans, our fans, the Welling United fans, and uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy their weekend. Does this feel like a bit of a kickstart for the season now? Obviously, nine league games in this is the tenth game of the season. Uh, does that feel like a real springboard now? Well, it's funny you should say that because that's what I said to the boys before the game. I felt I think with the addition of Tris, uh, he will make a massive difference to us. You know, TJ Bramble's back. Enoch's played in the 23s last night. Dicko's in it. I, I, I think we're getting our squad back, and you know, we're still young, aren't we? In terms of the group, you know, that's our tenth game together, and I think we've seen some really good signs of the football we play. But it's turning those into results, and I'm pretty, I'm very confident confident we'll be doing that. And I'm assuming that the uh, draw is on Monday. Um, what are you hoping for? Just another another game to get through? Another sort of ding-dong sort of game like this one? Or, well, or as, ho- as, maybe as, at home as, this time? As, as I said to you when the original draw, there's nothing you can do about the draws. All I want to do is it'd be my privilege to get Welling United Football Club in the first round proper again. You know, and move up the league. We, we are revolving at the football club this season. But listen, we just take what we're given and we look forward to it. Cheers, Danny. Well done today. Anytime. Cheers.